let us come back and see now i'm going to relate let earlier i related ionization enthalpy with electronic configuration now i'll be relating the color property with electronic configuration let's see how could how can we learn this so what did they say <coughs> give reasons giving reasons indicate which one of the following would be colored i have to tell which is, whether the particular ion is colored or not how do you say something uh, which uh, how do you say something is colored or not only important thing is there should be an unpaid electron present in that particular uh, element then only i can say it is colored right so why unpaid electron when there is an unpaid electron that electron when it absorbs certain amount of photons it will go to the excited state right during excited state it's going to absorb so the that particular frequency of the color and finally drop down to the ground state so now most important concept when a question is asked based on color property try to write the configuration first and after writing the configuration whichever has unpaid electron that one will be colored you can say simple so they have given us three examples so let us write nothing to write just explain just write the configuration and write which is colored or not now you have cu plus one a plus means just plus one scandium plus three nickel plus two so let us write the configuration and take out the electron so first for copper plus one copper is here now it is 3d10 3d first write the configuration 3d10 4s1 they've given me scandium scandium is 3d1 4s2 they've given me nickel so nickel is here 3d8 4s2 so 3d8 right 3d8 4s2 now what should i do i have to remove electrons how many should i remove i have to remove one so this becomes zero i have to remove three so this whole thing goes out and this becomes zero now i have to remove two this whole thing becomes zero now after this try to write the con uh, this in uh, configuration for 3d10 now this is your 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 fully filled i said unpaid electrons then only colored so fully filled this is colorless this is colorless right let us write this is colorless 3d0 right <clears throat> now uh, if i write 3d0 is there any uh, thing or any electron to get excited to, to the state no right so colorless now i have to write for this 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 how many unpaid electrons do we have two Yes, if it, has, if it has unpaid electron, it's going to show DD transition. It After showing DD transition, it will show color. I'll explain what is DD transition in this question. So, because of this unpaid electron, this is colored. So, observe this question and please write the answer. Yes, let us see what why our next question. Why are Zn plus 2 salts white while Ni plus 2 salts are blue? Okay, now they have given us color. I have to explain. What do they say? Zn plus 2 salts white. First, we will see why it is white in color. So, when I say Zn plus 2. So, what is Zn configuration? Zn configuration is 3D10, 4S2. 3D10, 4S2. Now, take out two electrons. This becomes zero. Now, this is fully filled. Completely filled, isn't it? This is completely filled in this way. So, when this is completely filled, it doesn't show any color. So, it is white in color. Simple. Now, I have to write for nickel. Nickel is plus two. What is nickel configuration? Nickel configuration is 3D8, 4S2. So, write down 3D8, 4S2. Now, take out two electrons from this. This becomes zero. So, no, do we have uh, unpaid electrons? Yes, we have unpaid electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have two unpaid electrons. Now, I'll show what is DD transition from this. Now, because of this unpaid electrons, it is blue in color. Right? Now, when I speak about D, yes, this whole set is called degenerate set. Right? Which has the same energy. Now, the first one, it's called dxy, dyz, dzx. Next one, dx square, y square, dz square. Now, this dxy, yz, zx, this set, this whole set is called a T2G set. Triplet degenerate set. Triplet means three degenerate set. And this whole set is called doublet degenerate set these two doublet these three triplet okay fine so let me erase this and use the board 
what did they say what did i say now i, I proved nickel is colored in nature so nickel has plus 2 state yes in this plus 2 state it has i said 1 2 3 <coughs> this way and first three are now when an if electron or when, when uh, photon of energy is supplied to this this is going to uh, divide or break up into two energy levels one you have the lower energy level as t2g this is t2g t2g with electrons filled electrons and the higher one would be eg set with half filled electrons right now the transition of this particular from the lower to the higher we call it as dd transition now further when it is supplied one more electron so this transition d to d to transition is called uh, because of this <coughs> the, it's going to show color property <coughs> 